We also, in the past, as other cities did, mainly relied on education and complaint response to address residential resources. Now we're required to do some sort of residential inspection. And we have a requirement to prepare an enforcement response plan to lay out what kind of enforcement mechanisms we'll use, uh, when those will be triggered, and will be held accountable to follow that. Yeah, but one second, we have some questions on this. Certainly. Council, Council Member Gallo. Um, residential inspection requirement. Yes. Does that mean we're gonna have water police now? Let me explain how we will address it. I, mean, I, I can see it happening. We're going to have all these uh, floppy-haired people with flat shirts walking around with clipboards inspecting everybody's house. Well, we're not allowed onto their property, so we're going to have to do any inspections from the street. Uh, Council Member Morasco. Yeah. Well, again, that's a question. How can we possibly be doing proactive inspection and enforcement? I mean... So we can... We can inspect from the street and if there are obvious sources of discharges that we observe for example over irrigation is a common problem in it, residential areas and that's not hard to spot we can leave door hangers for the residents to advise them just as we already do for water conservation that there is an issue and if we have a discharger that will persist then obviously we'd have to take additional action but we would emphasize first doing education, and we would be using staff that are already in our neighborhoods doing their work. Uh, yeah, that, that's the part I'm trying to uh, comprehend, how we uh -huh. possibly could cover the, the city. And so you're just talking about um, proactive in the sense that if someone, if a city uh, if a worker or a staff member is within a particular community and they observe something, they could then proactively leave a door hanger or, or whatever it may be, but not necessarily having patrols? We only are proposing patrols in specific areas, and it's essentially a drive-by, and the person would do exactly the same as the people we already have in the city doing this. But I'd like to explain it. I think the context will help you understand. You're saying that you have... I, I will explain in detail. I, okay. I understand the concerns. Why don't you go ahead? Okay. Thank you quick follow-up. We have an ordinance in town that says you can't park your car on the front lawn. Okay? We also have a, a procedure, John knows it, being an engineer, to where we're trying to get impervious material to take water. Yes. So we're better to wash your car than on the front lawn, but then we have an ordinance that says you can't do that. So you have to wash in your driveway. And then if you're washing in your driveway, now all of a sudden we've got this flood control have thing have to take going. to the roof. So I guess everybody just has to go to the car wash, right? 